Thank you, everybody, for being here today. I'm State Representative Rich Haggerty, and it's a great day to be formally rededicating the Edward S. Ned O'Brien Ice Rink here in our city. Let's give a big round of applause. First and foremost, I would like to recognize the O'Brien family and all the relatives of Ned who are here today with us, joining in this celebration in this momentous moment. Thank you all for being here. As a group, we're here today to reaffirm our commitment to ensuring the legacy of Seaman Ned O'Brien and his love for sport, and to once again recognize it in our community. Ned made the ultimate sacrifice for our country when he was killed in action during his tour in Vietnam in 1967. Over 50 years ago, our community leaders made the decision to posthumously recognize Ned by naming this rink in his honor. As a kid, I skated in this rink, and in a lot of ways, I grew up inside its four walls, so it's special for me and it's personal. I've been trying for several years now to secure resources to be able to properly honor Ned's sacrifice for our nation with an exterior monument and proper exterior signage. As part of last year's state budget, I was finally able to secure funding to enhance this rink, including the new dehumidification system, which was just installed this week, that will now allow Wuben Youth Hockey to operate this Ned O'Brien Ice Rink 12 months a year for the first time in its facility's history. And most important, I felt a strong desire to more properly recognize Ned in the exterior of the building, ensuring that his legacy of service and sport is visible to every young person who drives past this rink or walks through its doors. One of the pivotal partners in this effort has been Wuben Youth Hockey. We've been committed to recognizing the sacrifice of the O'Brien family every step of the way and have done a great job being a terrific partner. Before we get to the many thank yous, there are five individuals I want to just recognize first. Mayor Mike Kincannon, Ruben Veterans Services Officer Bob Davis, Anthony Langone from the Veterans Community, Mike Ferragamer from Ruben Youth Hockey, and Zach Dollywall from my office. Please give them all a round of applause. a lot of dignitaries with us today. I want to recognize Representative Michelle Socolo, who's with us today. Thank you for being here, Michelle. Former Representative Jim Dwyer is here with us. Thank you, Jim, for being here. <laughs> and I'm going to let Mayor Kincannon uh, recognize all of our local officials as well. So it's great to bring everyone together today to honor Ned and celebrate this rededication. With that being said, it brings me great pleasure to invite up George Poole, Commander of the United Veterans Council, for the posting of the colors as well as you will be joined by players from Wooden Youth Hockey and Anthony Langone from the veterans community will help lead us to the Pledge of Allegiance. George. Good morning. It's a very honor for me to be here today. Although he was a bit younger than me, I did not know Ned personally as a, a younger child. I was about 16 to 17. Ned was probably somewhere around 12 or so, and that, as a kid, he was an extremely funny, funny individual, and I know he's missed, and he's missed by our community. At this time, we are going to have the uh, posting of the colors of, of the Wuman Police Department. I would ask if you would please stand while the colors are being posted. Colors post. We're very honored to have members of Wuban Youth Hockey, led by Anthony Langone, to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. At this time, I invite Ryland Blake, Avery Tapp, Lauren O'Brien, Danielle O'Reilly, Kevin Fallback, and Chloe Martin to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I do encourage veterans to render the traditional military hand salute during the Pledge of Allegiance.
Thank you, George. Thank you, the movie of hockey players, for joining us today. You can be seated, please. At this time, it gives me great pleasure to introduce the Honorable Michael Duncan, Mayor of the City of Woburn. Good morning. Thank you, Rich. Thank you all for being here today. Very momentous occasion. I'm proud to stand before you as the mayor of the city of Woburn. I would like to take a minute to uh, to recognize again uh, the many members of the O'Brien family who are with us today. Thank you very much for joining us. I'd also like to recognize members of the city council who are with us, Lou DeMambro, Chuck Viola, and Rob Toro, and from the school committee, uh, Jesse Wetzel. Thank you also to the members of the Woburn Police and the Woburn Fire Department for their, their presence today. Uh, adding a special touch to the ceremony. I would like to start off by uh, thanking Rep. Rich Hagerty for his leadership on this. Uh, we would not be here today if it wasn't for his dedication uh, to the city of Woburn and to this rank in particular and his passion to ensure that Ned O'Brien was properly honored. So thank you, Rich. Thank you for making this all happen. Well, to the veteran service officer from the city of Woburn, Bob Davis. Of course, Woburn Youth Hockey, uh, Woburn's own DPW, they had a great hand in making this all happen here. Uh, Bob Shore from Skylight Studios, our own sculpture in residence. And of course, the contractors uh, who applied, I think, a special touch to this uh, particular project. Uh, this wasn't just a landscaping project for them, they, they cared, they put their heart and soul into it. So, thank you very much. As was said, it is appropriate that we are holding this commemoration on Memorial Day uh, week and weekend uh, to honor the ultimate sacrifice of a true Woburn hero. Ned O'Brien, killed in action, uh, gave his life for our country and our community, and we should not and will not ever forget that. We're also honoring a longtime Woburn family and the O'Briens, uh, well-known, well-respected, I have a personal personal connection to the O'Brien family. Uh, I've, I've been close friends with uh, Ned's nephew, Huey, uh, since probably kindergarten. And I've heard about Ned probably since then. I can remember my parents talking about how tragic it was and the, the sympathy that they had for Ned's parents and his brothers and the, and the entire family. Uh, probably one of the very first heroes I heard about in my childhood. And as I said, I went on to become close friends with, with Huey since probably five years old. And uh, nearest and dearest, closest of my friends. Uh, I can remember Hugh's grandparents, Ned's parents, what wonderful people they were. Hugh's dad, and of course, all the uncles. Uh, just a great family. Uh, and I'm, I'm so happy that Tom could be with us here today. It's also special because Huey's family is like my second family. His daughters are essentially my additional daughters. Uh, Huey's a godfather to one of my kids, and I'm a godfather to one of his. So this one hits so close to home. So I'm honored to be here as your mayor and to join the O'Brien family. I'm also touched, as was Rich, by the, the, uh, the nexus to the O'Brien rink, as Rich played here through the years I have countless memories of schlepping ho hockey bags past this area uh, when my four boys played hockey. And uh, I did make a point to tell my boys why it's named the O'Brien Rink. Tried to make sure they understood the sacrifice involved. And this will only reinforce that message to all of the families and all of the kids that pass by this memorial. Maybe they can pause for a minute and get a deeper understanding of what others are willing to do for us. I also get a kick out of the fact that uh, all of the high school hockey teams refer to this place as the Ned, which I, I think is a, is a nice touch. It hopefully reinforces in their minds uh, the connection to a true movement hero, Ned O'Brien. So again, I'm pleased to be here as the mayor and helping to <coughs> commemorate the rededication of this memorial. Uh, and just a, a, a somber and special reminder of this memorial the weekend of the actual 
tangible personal sacrifices made by others on our behalf. With that in mind, I would encourage everybody here to do as much as they can this Memorial Day weekend to remember those. We have a series of events scheduled throughout the city. Uh, this one of the highlights, but if you can join us at any of those other events, I would welcome you. I think it's a great tribute to those who've gone before us. So thank you very much. Mayor Cannon. There are waters, by the way, I know it's getting warm, and there are some more seats available if anybody uh, is feeling uh, warm. Please feel free to take a seat. Um, at this time, it gives me a great pleasure to introduce uh, Representative, uh, State Representative Michelle Socolo to do us a citation for the Massachusetts House of Representatives. Thank you, Rich, and thank you all for being here today. I'm so honored to be able to participate in this incredible ceremony. What a sacrifice Seaman Ned O'Brien made for our country. And it is so very fitting that we're doing this on Memorial Day weekend. As I think about the loss of someone in the prime of their life, I couldn't help but draw the connection that he passed the year I was born. So my entire lifetime, he has not been here with all of us. But I look out and see the O'Brien family and I'm just so pleased that his legacy is being honored and his memory is being cherished. And there are so many people here to celebrate the, the sacrifice that he made for our country and for our freedoms. My own son is only 22 years old. I cannot imagine what it must be like to lose a 22 year old. So it is really a privilege for me to be able to be here. And I wanna say in particular, what a phenomenal rep you have in Rep Haggerty. The efforts that he made to provide the funding for this, technically the rink is in my district, so I, I'm just so grateful for his leadership in particular because he's really um, brought this to the forefront and helped make the funding happen, and it's great to have such a wonderful partner in Woburn. So I will just read the citation and I'll ask Tracy to come up and accept it on behalf of the family. Commonwealth of Mass, House of Representatives. Be it hereby known to all that the Massachusetts House of Representatives offers its sincerest congratulations to the O'Brien family in recognition of the rededication of the Ned O'Brien ice rink. We remember and honor Ned O'Brien who sacrificed his life for our freedom. The entire membership extends its very best wishes and expresses the hope for the future good fortune and continued success in all endeavors. And it's given this 23rd day of May 2024 at the State House of Boston, Massachusetts, signed by the Speaker of the House, Ronald Mariano, by myself, Michelle Cipolo, and by State Rep. Richard Haggerty. played a pivotal role in this is our veteran services officer, Bob Davis. When, uh, as this came to fruition, Bob was on the front uh, working on this issue every step of the way and somebody who was aggressively leading this and understood how important it was for the O'Brien family, for the city of Woburn, and for our, for our veterans as well. So at this time, it gives me great pleasure to introduce the veteran services officer of the city of Woburn, Bob Davis. gathered here today. We're here today to honor, honor and memorialize Seaman Edward S. Ned O'Brien. Seaman O'Brien graduated Woburn High School in the class of 1964, promptly answered the nation's call to duty enlisting in the United States Navy. After recruit training and schooling, Seaman O'Brien was assigned to the destroyer USS Osborne. In August of 1967, USS Osborne joined Task Group 77 as part of Operation Sea Dragon the Gulf of Tonkin, Republic of Vietnam. They, along with the USS Berkeley, were involved in over 20 missions, fired on by enemy guns located near the Cape Police area. In September, 
the Osborne found herself again on the Cape of Feliz with the USS St. Paul with over 600 enemy shells reported splashing around the two ships. The resolve and bravery shown in the face of imminent fire and imminent danger is a testament as to why we're standing here today. The Osborne in September through October found her and her crew in Yokosuka, Japan brief upkeep and repairs. Osborne then returned to Operation Sea Dragon in November 1967. On the 26th of November, the Osborne was credited to sinking three waterborne logistic crafts, beaching a fourth. On December 4th, USS Osborne came under enemy fire again in the Gulf of Tonkin, with over 100 splashes of enemy projectiles falling around her. She then took a direct hit and not only disabled the aft gun mount, a wounded three, killing two of the crew members. Tragically, commissaryman third class Ray L. Cork, Racine, Wisconsin, and seaman Edward S. O'Brien, Hoover, Massachusetts, for those two crew members that lost their lives on that fateful December day. Seaman O'Brien served with honor, courage, and distinction. Included in his military decorations of the Purple Heart, which was awarded posthumously, National Defense Service Medal, Vietnam Service Medal, and Vietnam Campaign Medal. So as we stand here today, it is right and proper to honor the immense bravery, sacrifice, to ensure Ned's legacy lives on through this wonderful memorial at the entrance of where many women's youth will look to fulfill their dreams and aspirations while passing by this memorial dedicated to the namesake of the rank whose dreams and aspirations were cut short on that tragic December day, but whose legacy and love of movement athletics shall be forever memorialized right here in this spot. God bless him and O'Brien and his family. God bless all of you. God bless the United States of America. Thank you, Bob, and it gives me a great pleasure now to introduce some comments from the family, Tracy O'Brien. Tracy. Good morning. Good morning. I am Tracy O'Brien, daughter of Tom O'Brien, niece of Ned O'Brien. This is a role I would normally give to my older brother, who was supposed to be in Atlanta for business. He was able to be here today, but I was already on the program. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> I want to thank everyone here for gathering today to ensure the memory of my Uncle Ned continues to live on here in the city of Woburn. On behalf of the entire family, I wish to express our gratitude especially on behalf of my father, Tom, and my uncle, Jay. Representative Haggerty, thank you for all of your efforts for ensuring the funding for this project and all of your efforts. The O'Brien family is forever grateful. Thank you to your staff, especially Zach, who worked so hard in putting this event together. Mayor Conkiannon, thank you for being here today. As you have always been a great friend to the O'Brien family, and clearly a huge supporter of those in military service, the city of Woburn, and the fabric of this city. You are greatly appreciated. Veterans agent Bob Davis, thank you for all you do for the veterans of this great city. The staff and students at Northeast Metro Tech built this beautiful podium that I stand at today for you and your office to use going forward. somewhere a classmate of mine mentioned to me in passing how the veterans office of Woburn could use a podium and it all came together that we should donate the O'Brien family should donate the materials to my school and have it donated and ready for this special event today in my uncle Ned's memory so they're not here today but I thank my staff and students at Northeast Metro Tech for the work they did for this beautiful podium Growing up, my genera 
adaptation of O'Brien's. Heard so much of the adventures of the five O'Brien brothers, Joe, Hugh, Jay, Tom, and Ned. The legend of our Uncle Ned was always the highlight of so many of those stories. Uncle Ned never got to meet his 13 nieces and nephews, but we met him. We met him through the many stories told by our fathers of their baby brother, a brother who was loved by all, a little brother who grew to be a giant of a man, but remained a gentle soul. We met Uncle Ned through the stories of his childhood growing up on Ingle Street and playing sports in Woburn. We met him through every Wolvernite we encountered who had known him. Every one of those encounters ended with a story of how fond they were of Ned, how Ned had been so kind, so caring, and such a wonderful person. The stories were always so heartfelt and always told with such fondness. In the 57 years since his passing, Ned's name still brings such joyful memories. Whether it's stories of mischief, painting a car on Ingle Street, or taking his classmate Judy Palmer to prom, my mother-in-law, the memories of full of love, laughter, and light. Losing Ned will always be a wound unhealed for his loved ones. Keeping his memory alive for generations to come is a comfort. As future generations of athletes enter this rink, May they ask, who is Ned O'Brien? And may someone be around to tell them a story about this gentle giant, loved by all who knew him, who loved his family, his country, and gave his life in service. Again, thank you all on behalf of the O'Brien family. Thank you, Tracy. I do want to just take one minute just to run through a bit of a list of thank yous uh, that we want to uh, give a bit of a shout out to. Of course, our Woburn Police and Fire Honor Guard, uh, the Woburn State Delegation who's here today, Representative Zipolo, Mayor Cannon, Cummings Properties uh, for donating the flagpole that you see on your right, South End Italian Club who helps financially, Skylight Studios and Block Shore who did an amazing job you're going to see in just a minute on this. Let's give Bob a big round of applause. applause. Davis, Anthony Langold, George Poole, Mike Ferragama from Youth Hockey, Outdoor Associates, both uh, Cameron, I think Cameron's around here somewhere, uh, as well as uh, uh, Joe Constantino. Give them a big round of applause because they literally <laughs> built it. They went the extra mile every step of the way from the small flags to make sure everything was touched up paint wise. Outdoor Associates did a fantastic job, I can't say enough. Uh, Layton Brothers Plumbing and Heating, uh, who helped with the irrigation, John Higgins, the electrician. Nick Thomas, the rink manager, who was out here keeping an eye on everybody and continues to make sure that this rink is a top flight facility. Uh, Martin Eddy Enterprises, who donated the pavers, uh, and of course, most important, the O'Brien family, who are joining us here today. So thank you so much, and at this time, I'd like to invite up, invite up the O'Brien family for the formal unveiling of the monument.
ready to have a dismissal of the colors, I would I would ask you all to please stand. Veterans render the traditional military hand salute as the colors are dismissed. Colors dismissed. Thank you.